you by the title today. We're just gonna be doing a mukbang. We're at the Rudy's Chicken. Rudy's Chicken. If you from Dallas, Dallas. If you're from Dallas, you know. But yeah, so we're just talking, and we're gonna eat. So our topic yeah. is. I asked what's Mashara. A, okay, my my day. A I day. said, "What's a good day? What's a good day for me?" So let me ask you a question. Hold on. I tell my story. Okay, yeah, you go first. Right. A good day to me, for example, a good day to her. Let's say we go to my favorite restaurant. You know, I'm just, I'm gonna use Rudy's as an example. So we go to Rudy's. You know, so either he has food prepared already, you know, or we go to Rudy's, pick my food up, and then we go to the park, and then we just sit there and eat. He take pictures of me and take pictures of him, you know, if he need it. And we just sit there and talk, you know, just talk to like, you get to know each other. Yeah, like, because I'm, I'm a good conversationalist, you know, I'm a Sagittarius. That's what we do. We're the best side. That ain't my knowledge. So, yeah, you know. So, I feel, you know, we're talking for a long, long time. You know, we just eat at each other and stuff, you know, laughing with the sun is beaming on our faces. We're black. We look great, you know. <laughs> and then after that happened, you know, we just go to like later at night. You know what? We can go to Dallas Zoo Life. I never been before. I want. I always want to go. I haven't been before. Take, take her, take, take. See, now go see the lights. Ah, see, take pictures. That's nice, you know. And we just having a good time, you know. It's been a good any day, you know. That's that's some Dallas stuff, you know. That's the Dallas day, you know. Okay, okay. And then after that, we go in with my favorite Creole food. And I'm, I plan to get back in my house until two or three in the morning. Two in the morning. Maybe five. Maybe five. You never know. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. You go. Okay, my turn. So, first of all, I want to start the day early. Mm. So, yeah. here, okay. we're early. So, I'm going to say around like 11 ish, like brunch yeah. time ish. Uh, my example going to be like an anniversary day. Okay. So, um, start the day off, like go to a nice brunch somewhere in a nice area where I can dress up real cute, put some heels on, a cute hat, you know, something like that. Then maybe go and, you know, go home, change. Change. Cause I'm not gonna wear no heels all day, Kendall. You can bring some shoes back though. Okay, well. Bring an outfit you wear. Okay, Don't I'm gonna say a, a change, outfit change. We're gonna do an outfit change. Mm -hmm. And then, well, no. But an outfit change, and then I would say, go to like an arcade. I like playing games, and I'm real competitive, so. So, yeah. Give me some games to play, like go go kart racing. Mm -hmm. Or something like real fun. I just want to go somewhere real fun. Even like Six Flags. I love roller coasters. So. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom, bang, bang. Nah, my wig. <laughs> nah, I'm your mm -hmm. Okay, okay. But yeah, somewhere like I can just have, enjoy myself, have fun, you know. Eat a little something. Then after that, I would say a drive-in movie. Mm. A drive-in movie. We don't watch that movie. Like go, ho go home, though. Like after a little thing, go home, wash our hips, go to a drive-in movie chill there and then you know watch the movie or whatever whatever but y'all so for the longest me and kendall have been in college our first semester so how did your first semester go you got any tips um is that my cousin no it's not get up for class no just get up that's my tip get up get up mm -hmm. even think your school love you get up they don't Get up. Get up in the morning. Well, sometimes the 8 a.m. was hard to get up for. But I got up. You know what? And you gotta, you gotta go to class. You gotta go to every class sometimes, you know? Sometimes you need that Don't tell up. nobody. I say go to your class because if I miss mm. a class, I'm missing like work and stuff like that. And sometimes you can go to other if people you know your and teacher, other people. Stay yeah, basically, if you know your teacher, because I missed a couple of classes because I understood. I knew what we were doing in class that mm -hmm. day. And stuff like that. And I knew I wasn't going to be really missing anything. And like one of my classes, you can miss up to five times and it won't affect your grade. But my school is attendance based. So I saw in a girl, like, I know it's cool you can go to school and make new friends, but like be open, but don't be too open. That too. Because like I got a, a HBCU in Houston and Fairview, Fairview Finest. And Houston people, I can say it's like, Dollars to open up you have a lot of time, like you have four years to open up to these people, so you don't have to yeah. rush it in in one semester. So yeah, because people will like, literally switch up on you. And dudes, I don't deal with dudes like that in my school, so I wouldn't tell. 
and don't wish no relationship to happen your first semester either. Like, yes, I mean, try to be a say. part of every organization. You try, yes, join stuff. Like, I'm not in any right I can't, now. But try. I can't stress it enough. Like, don't go to college and be one of those people that just be like, okay, I'm just here for school. Unless your schedule like doesn't give you time. But try to, like, be a part of things. Knowing more people give you um, open opportunities to have connections in the future. So, yeah, like... What's something you say about your school people think negative? Tell me your school, and what's something people think of your school when they think of your name? But tell me what's really, like, the real deal about your school, like... Um, yeah. Tarleton, it's not really a big school. That's the school that I, I attend. It's not... The school is very small, like, so literally think it's big. everybody knows everybody. No. Since it's a white school, a predominantly white yeah. institution people think racist things which i personally haven't i haven't dealt with anything and like my friends that i have there i haven't heard they haven't told me about anything that they dealt with so go take the experience of your own like you know what do you have to say about pv because everybody says it's a party school stop calling me um people think people think pv is a party school and it's really not it's for who it depends on who you know like people you know really because like i can see it right now like i've been been to a party everybody there's on their stuff I'm proud of my choice because, like, people there are on their stuff. Like, when I first got there, like, it's so many smart kids there. Like, PB is really the place to be. I really like it. I like it. I really love it. So, just know PB is already part of school. And, and don't just, you know, try to be like, oh, my friends are going to go. When I went to Tarleton, I know literally nobody from my school that I graduated with was going there. Like, if it wasn't for this group chat I was in, I wasn't going to know anybody I there, think she so. don't want people than me. <laughs> they probably more based on me. But... Yeah, so don't just, you know, don't just look for where you're going to know more people. Be yeah. open to meeting other people, too. That's another thing. Be open to meeting other people. Just because you might have your clique already, don't settle there. Don't settle there. I can't retain you right now. That clique is going to switch up on you in college. I know a lot of people went to college and switched up on their friends. Or, like, for me, I don't know. People thought, because, like, I don't know. Like, me and Michelle go to different schools, and we're still, I think we're still really close to We've been close since elementary. Elementary. Mm -hmm. So, you do, and that's also a thing, like, you know, people say in high school, the people that you walk in with, you're no, not going to leave with. Yeah, you're not going to leave with. Mm, yeah. And went to different that's high not schools. That's every case. Went to different high schools. And I moved. And she moved. But. This is my brother. My brother. Um, pop, pop. My Instagram is Ken.co. Twitter is Creole, babe. Snapchat is Ken.co, K-E-N-N dot C-O. And Instagram, Ken.co is K-E-N dot C-O. And I, I'll get her to put it below. And yes, I'm single. Below. I'm a Sash. I'm 5'2". I'm dark skin. I'm smart. I'm brilliant. I'm funny. I'm very funny. Put your whole well, resume well, in. We always have laughs, you know, single, you know. Hey, you know, I'm 19, you know, turn 20 next year, you know, very 29. Yeah, I'm sorry. Girl, you really would get on that chicken. I told you what I do. It's like chicken feet. Y'all, Rudy's, if you ever come visit Dallas, you have to go to Rudy's. That's like a spot that you have to visit. It's in the hood, but it's worth it. Yeah. Oh, and this is where we end it so I can lick my fingers how I want to lick them. Yeah, I'm about to say, oh, I'm about done. Yeah. So I'm about to finish book. I'm mess with you. I'm about to get back to posting on my stuff because um, I'm on break for about a month, so... That will happen. But guys, thank you for watching this video. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Follow her on her social media. I will put it below. Follow me on mine. And